Hey, hey y'all and welcome back to our home. Welcome if you're new. My name is Tiffany and this is our small town life. We recently purchased this double wide mobile home, moved it out here on our land and we're trying to do what we got to do to be able to move in it. And I did a home tour last week. I'll link that video up in the cards and down in the description box in case you haven't seen it, but pretty much opened the door, invited you in and showed you the whole house. And I mentioned in that video that it needed to be cleaned. The floors need to be cleaned. There's dust and, and stuff on all the surfaces. All that's gotta be clean so that we can start moving things in. That's really exciting. Now, I've never been so excited to clean before. <laughs> I'm, I'm ready to get in here and clean today. Also, a few of you have mentioned and asked where we are on utilities. We have power, and a matter of fact, you're hearing things beeping <laughs> because it was flipped off and I cut it on as we were coming in. Uh, but we have power. We ran our water line from the road all the way to the house. We've got to come back this weekend, weather permitting, and wrap the pipes under the house and pull them tight. But that is done. We can't cut our water on though because we don't have a septic tank yet. Uh, if you've been around here, then you know all about that. If you're new, there'll be a playlist down in the description box titled Moving Vlogs and it'll help you get caught up on everything. But we had the perk test redone from the backyard to the front yard. I actually went to the health department this morning, turned in the application. Hopefully in the next week, week and a half, we'll be able to work on getting somebody out here to get that septic tank installed because that's kind of the last thing that needs to be done then they can put the skirting on and yeah that'll be all of the utilities there are going to be as we're walking around the house you'll probably cleaning you'll probably notice some little blue pieces of painter's tape that's where i've marked everything that i've noticed as far as like some paint drips and handles that are on crooked those kinds of things that they're going to come in at the very very end and fix for us and I marked every little thing that I noticed because I want them to know that I noticed it so you'll see some little pieces of tape that's what that's for as soon as we get this house cleaned up we can start bringing our stuff in that's exciting there's nothing holding us back from moving our stuff in so so excited to get to clean in today so that we can what was that oh a Swiffer there's because it goes over the counter and you can see it you can see it. I'm so excited to get everything cleaned up so that we can start moving our stuff in. That's what we're gonna do today. I've said it before and I'll probably say it again, but when I think about things that still need to be done, I can get a little overwhelmed. But what's important is focusing on what's in front of me today, getting done what's needing to be done today. And if I do that every day, <laughs> it will eventually all work out. We went this morning and actually visited my sister's chickens and seeing them got me really excited to get our chickens here and goats here and gardens going. But again, one thing at a time. And my task in front of me today is getting this house clean. So we're gonna start on one end and work our way all the way to the other. The kids are here, they're gonna help me out. I work most efficiently and effectively when I do that. When I start on one room, finish it, and go to the next. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to put some music on, let you clean with me. I'm sure I'll pop on and talk to you from time to time. But we're going to see if we can't tackle this house today, get it clean. Like I said, can't cut the water on yet, so I had to get a little creative. It ain't going to be no, no big deal. Ain't no thing. We'll make it work. I'll probably just clean the inside of the tubs and the toilets again once we have water. But it's not like things are filthy. They just have a layer of dust on them and some mud where people have been walking in and out, those kinds of things. And we'll be able to get all that cleaned up today. I went ahead and turned the shark vacuum on in the bedrooms and just let it run while we were doing other things. And Easton wanted a swiffer, so I went ahead and started by sweeping up my bedroom so he could come behind me and mop. was doing that all went in and got started cleaning the glass.
down the wall. sure what I want to do right here in this area I need to leave this stuff so that when people are walking in and out they have something to step on because it's muddy outside maybe I'll move it over and sweep kind of sweep off what I can on it and then just put it back I know it's gonna keep getting a little bit dirty right here we'll just have to keep cleaning it but that kind of needs to stay there so that's what we'll do I don't have my big vacuum cleaner. I may have to go borrow my mom because stuff like this is gonna have to be vacuumed out and then wiped. I need to get something to trim some of these pieces. <sighs> I just brought our shark vacuum cleaner over here today to run in the rooms because I knew they would need something, but I gotta get a big vacuum cleaner to tackle some of this other stuff. Just gonna do the best I can for right now though.
this Sprayway stainless steel cleaner to try on all the stainless steel. That up there's got all kinds of fingerprints on it. We're about to see how it works. I'm still not used to stainless steel stuff yet. <laughs> well, I have to get used to it. But from what I can tell, I like that. I mean, no more fingerprints. I watch you as you drive. smile do you know how much i love you you put my favorite song on i put my feet up and we just sing along and i can't help but feeling just loving this moment can we stay here forever i'm loving this moment can we stay here together if i could stop the time don't you know that I would Cause I'm just loving this moment Can we stay here forever 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 I watch you as you sleep You don't know I'm looking With you everything do you know how much I love you? I put your favorite song on Just to wake you up When I dance around I can't help but feeling Just loving this moment Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment Can we stay here together? If I could stop the time don't you know that I would Cause I'm just loving this moment Can we stay here forever 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 Tell you what, I don't know what I'd do forever. Without these kids that are willing to help I'm loving this moment. Thank you for helping me Thank you for helping Wyatt Thank you for helping. Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this oh. moment. Thank you for helping, Aj. <laughs> Thank you for helping, Hud. Getting this plastic off the refrigerator has proven to be a task, hasn't it? She's almost got it. She's worked on it a little bit and left it and come back and left it and come back. It's almost off. All that really had to be done in the bedrooms was the floors and wiping out the window sill. So those were, those were easy, especially since we just let the shark run. I'll have to get the big vacuum and go over it again, but rooms are clean.
and it feels so much better in here just getting everything cleaned up the kids helped I was a little hesitant when they said yeah yeah I want to help I want to help I was like how long will that last but y'all they were so excited and so eager to help me we cleaned for about two and a half hours somewhere around in there they took care of their bedrooms they helped me with some other things they helped play with white and keep him occupied we got a lot done and I'm really happy about it now Hopefully soon we can start moving stuff in. It'll just have to depend on the weather because it's supposed to rain all week. We'll see what we can do though. Uh, but depending on the weather and how our schedule goes, hopefully we'll be moving stuff in very soon. Thank you for spending a little time with us today, cleaning and just hanging out. We love you. We appreciate you. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye y'all. Cody just brought me a flower. Thank you, buddy. Good. You ready to go? Before long, we'll get to stay here. That'll be nice. Oh, another flower? Thank you, bud.